Um, okay, I'm going to scoot those over here. I'm just really afraid I'm going to like um, use the wrong stamp. You know, it could happen, right? Okay, so hold on. Quick sip of water because I'm super excited to show you guys. Well, actually, do you remember all of last week I showed this beautiful card that my downline Diana Boone sent to me and I loved it so much and she used that stamp set. So, okay, and do you remember? What I loved about it was the stamping, right? And then the fold on the card. So, guess what? I was like, okay, I gotta make one too. So this is my version of Diana's card. Changed the colors a little bit. I had to use the new country floral embossing folder. And then we did... Yeah, so you can see, right, all the beautiful stamping. I loved that fold, though. Ooh, this would be another good one I could give my friend Lynn for her birthday, too, right? So very happy to know you. I love our beautiful friendship. Happy birthday. Oh, my gosh, this would be a great one, too. What fun. Okay, so let me show you how I kind of adapted Diana's beautiful card and came up with this one. Very, very similar, obviously, right? Just changed colors and the um, embossing up a bit. And again, so Susan and everyone, I will give you dimensions right now, and then they'll also be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com in case you forget or you go to make it later. Just go over there and find today, so Friday, May 15th, find that blog post that will be called uh, Facebook Friday Beautiful Friendship is what it will be called or some version of that, right? Okay, so... Let's see, let me grab the things that I'm gonna need. Let's see, what do I wanna do? Actually, let's give you dimensions right now. All right, too many things. I know, the color combination, Debbie, it is gorgeous, isn't it? So I'll tell you, I have too many, <laughs> sorry. I keep like going back and forth and back and forth Um, because I, okay, I can do it, I can do it, I know I can. So maybe I didn't use pineapple punch, I'm thinking I didn't. I'm trying to look. Okay, color combination. This is it. Let's make sure. Yep, I know for sure I started with Coastal Cabana. And then the roses are in Mango Melody. That's what those are. Then we did, we used Daffodil Delight for these other flowers right here. I'll show you that in a sec. And then we ended with the Granny Apple Green leaves. Okay. Um, nope, I did use Pineapple Punch because then the Spriggy flowers, again, are in pineapple punch. So check out this color combination. That's kind of a fun one too, right? These all look pretty similar um, on here, but I think they do look enough different when you stamp on them there, right? Thanks, Barb. I appreciate that. I know this is just a beautiful color combination. Okay. All right. So let's see. We don't need this one. These need that one. Okay. Actually, I think the only one we need is the spriggy. Okay. <laughs> in the attempt to be organized. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so let me give you, yeah, was, was I going to give you dimensions? I think that's what I was going to do next. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a basic card base right here, right? Our um, Coastal Cabana, this is. Coastal Cabana cardstock. Okay, so imagine this is our full sheet of Coastal Cabana cardstock is what we start with. Eight and a half by 11, always, it seems like these days, I cut it in half at five and a half and score it in half at four and a quarter, okay? So there's our fold on our card, right? Okay, then we have a, another piece that we embossed, Coastal Cabana. <laughs> Squirrel, I know, it's really bad, Debbie. It's really, really, really bad. Four inches by five and a quarter inches. Uh, so there's that one. Then this is the one you kind of need to make sure you know about because this is new, right? Woo -hoo. This is Whisper White and it measures five by seven and a half. And then I scored it in half along the seven and a half at three and three quarters. So you fold it and then it's going to go this way inside here. Okay. So it's going to go like that right there. Okay. So that's the main one that's a little bit different, right? And then I just have these one inch wide strips and I'm just gonna stamp and cut it down and I'll show you how I did that. So let's do our stamping and then we're gonna do our die cutting and embossing and then we'll put everything together. I think that's a good plan for me. <laughs> Help me remember that now, would you ladies? Okay, so actually let's do this strip. So we're gonna do the so very happy. See how, how boring that looks? And then you put the colors in there. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? Okay, so that one I used, ooh, excuse me, 
No, that's not it. Daffodil Delight. They look too similar. They really do, don't they? And they're quite a bit different colors. Mango Melody is what we're going to stamp our sentiment in, okay? So we have our So Very Happy to Know You. We're going to put that one right there, okay? Then I'm going to close that back up, and we're going to start our stamping on our Whisper White piece. So this one we are stamping on this, is that right? Yes, yes. There we go. We're going to stamp on that piece right there. But I am going to bring back in my stamp and pierce mat. So again, this is the piece that's going to get adhered. This is what we're stamping on, okay? So it's backwards. It feels really, really, really backwards to me right now. But that's what we have to do. Okay, so we're going to start with the middle Coastal Cabana, the Hydrangea, I think, is what this is called. Pretty sure. The big pom-poms, right? So we're just gonna stamp that in the middle, okay? And you can see, it, it's not that I didn't stamp this up very well, this is how it's supposed to look, some darker and some lighter. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. You can kind of tell that on here too. Do you see how it's got some darker and some lighter shading? That's how it's supposed to stamp. So don't be upset that you didn't stamp it well. You did just fine, that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, so since this was a few days ago, actually, because I had to clean yesterday. Normally, I would be prepping my Facebook Live cards, but, you know, I had to do this earlier. I think I actually did them on Monday, which is amazing for me. It was really ahead of the game. So now I'm trying to remember, what did I do way back on Monday? We are using, this one is your Mango Melody. I just inked this up, and I really feel like it needs to be re-inked again. I guess I didn't put enough ink on it. But that's okay. There we go. There, that third one got it. Now it's probably too dark, but that's okay. So we did those roses in Mango Melody, okay? Next, we are gonna do, I don't know, whatever flower that is, we're gonna do those in Daffodil Delight. It's funny how much um, dustier this yellow looks than I think it does normally. It's very kind of dusty yellow. We're gonna do one more right there. And one more right there. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah, we'll see. If I have to fill anything in, it's funny. I think I spaced things out a little bit differently. But that's kind of the neat thing about this is you can kind of just do whatever you like. So now we have Pineapple Punch for our Spriggy flower again. We're going to kind of fill in. So let's see, maybe we'll do, oops, that's going the wrong way, isn't it, right? So we'll do one there. We're going to do one there. I feel like I need one more of those. I know what I'm going to do. I kept kind of looking at that. I need one more of these roses. I'm going to call these roses too. They're just like a sideways rose maybe. I'm gonna do one more right about there, okay. Then we just need to add in some green. So it looks, it's like, it is a little bit busy, but it's fun how once you add the green, I think that break, it breaks things up a little bit. And then when you fold it back, how pretty it is. Okay, so then with this leaf, and I will tell you guys, I've been priding myself on like using um, many, many of um, the stamps in our stamp set. I love doing that. So I'm just kind of adding these green flowers kind of in between where I did the Daffodil Delight flowers, okay? So hopefully you guys can all see that, right? So that's the idea. I don't think, oh, I know, the one other thing. So on the inside, I did, I love our beautiful friendship, but I did that one in Coastal Cabana. So it's gonna go like this. We're gonna flip this open. So we're gonna stamp right here in there. Oops, that's so very happy to know you. We want this one. I love our beautiful friendship. We are gonna ink that up. So always nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. Oh, I love that font too, that cursive, so pretty. I always wanna be the person that can write like that, right? Nancy, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I think now we can do our die cutting. So we're gonna get all of these ink pads out of the way. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yep. Lots of moving around of stuff. This one is all good. We don't have to do any die cutting on here. 
what we need to do is we need to die cut this piece and this one with our oval. So we're gonna do that first, right? Because we wanna have the peek through and then we will emboss that piece next. Okay, so let me grab the die cutting machine. Is that in view? Enough, right? Okay, we are using, these are the, oops, I pulled them all out. Okay, we'll fix that later. These are the layering oval dies and we are using the very largest oval, straight edge oval, okay? All right. Ooh, that's messy. This must be the one Lily was working with. <laughs> you know, I would never leave all that on there, right? <laughs> Sorry, Lil. Okay, so we are going to lay that. I'm trying to make sure I'm really doing this right. Yep, okay, so we're gonna lay this and I'm just trying to um, center it right in the middle of everything, okay? On the front panel, I guess I should say. And I'm gonna just do, sorry, that wiggle's bad, isn't it? Okay. All right, so then you can save this oval and use it for something else. I'm glad you liked the card, Nancy. Okay, so did you guys see? That's what we're starting with. So there's our front, okay? Then we are also going to, this is our embossed piece, and we are going to try to line this up so it's in the middle of everything. So hopefully, and you know what, because they're the same color, if it's not totally perfect, it's going to be okay, because you won't even really be able to tell. Sorry, there's definitely something loose on here. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a sec when we go to do it. So then you have another oval as well that you can use on something else. Okay, now we need to, we're gonna emboss this piece with our new, um, what was it called? Ornate floral, yeah, ornate floral embossing folder. Okay, so the brand new, you can order this now. I'll give you the item code, it's 152725. I will also have it on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so we're going to just pop this. And this one, there is a line, but I don't think it really matters. There's just kind of an all-over pattern on this one, okay? All right, so we're going to emboss this baby. And voila! Isn't that, there's something about those little baby flowers. I just love them. Okay. But we will scoot this out of the way, and I'll show you how we're going to get this card to come together. So the first step is actually putting this piece inside. Nope, actually it goes this way. I was like, how did I do that? Because I want to lay that right on here, and I'm going to line it up, and then this is going to go over it so you cover up this strip. Does that make sense? I'm going to trim it because I think that looks pretty good, right? So I'm going to trim it at about there. I'm gonna flip it and then we'll trim it again right about there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some adhesive on the back of both of these. Okay, and again, we're just gonna, oops, that's upside down, so that's not gonna work very well, right? So we're just gonna run that right there, okay? Now, we're gonna add a bunch of adhesive. And this is, before I put this on here, this is what I was saying, was hopefully I got that oval in the center and this one in the center. But if things are off a little bit, which it looks like maybe they are actually. Yeah, I got one a little bit higher than the other. So you can either show a little bit of that or maybe you just move this and it's not totally um, lined up. And that's okay, because really, I mean, does it matter if there's a little bit more cardstock showing? Um, down here than there. I don't think so. And honestly, what I'll probably do afterwards is I'll go back and cut that off a little bit. So that would be another trick. I didn't bring my paper trimmer over, um, but I wouldn't stress too much, you know. So I got this one up a little bit higher than this one, but it's not a big deal. You can fix it, which I will, which I will do because I am a little bit anal. I would like to try to get it as close as I can, but you can always trim things off a little bit. I think it's more important to get these ovals lined up. I didn't like seeing that down there, if you know what I mean. We'll just do this right here and get everything lined up. I did a pretty good job side to side, not quite as well top to bottom, but that's okay, right? So the nice thing is that covers up that little strip, right? Now 
Where's my other piece? Now we just need to add a bunch of adhesive on the back of this piece so that it stays well on our card. Oops. There. Okay, and then this one we are just going to kind of, I think this one's important to get kind of centered around on the inside here. Okay. So we're just going to do that right there. Okay. So basic, right? Open, love our beautiful friendship, right? So then you just have to add a little bit of, I loved um, Diana's touch with the polka dot tool ribbon. So I just went with that also. So we're just going to tie a white polka dot tool. And I'm so glad that this ribbon is not retiring. I think we've had it for a couple of years. So I was kind of wondering if it would go, but not yet. And it's just a perfect dainty little ribbon to add on to so many, many things. Okay. I can just... <laughs> I really have no idea why I just had this thought, um, but I was thinking, so um, our Maui trip that we were supposed to have in July has been postponed because of the whole corona, sorry, I'm, I'm going to like play with that forever. Anyway, um, which is a big bummer, right? I mean, you know, it is what it is and we'll, we'll all be fine and happy and move on. Um, but it just occurred to me, because I think as I saw this little label on here, that we always get so much free product on those trips and we're not going to be getting that this year. And it's just, I hadn't even thought about that. Like I was really bumming that we weren't going to Maui and now I'm like, oh, I'm almost in tears thinking about all the new product that we would normally get that we're not going to get now. <laughs> so, oh, oh well, it is what it is, right? Life moves on. But okay, sorry, I'm a, on my little tangent there. I just had to share that. Sorry, <laughs> I probably didn't even need to. This is definitely one of those. Somebody was saying, oh, you're always so chatty on your Facebook lives. I'm like, yeah, there's usually at least one, if not a couple of things that I say that later I'm like, why did I say that? And th that's probably going to be one of them. They're like, just keep your mouth shut, Amy. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, it is what it is. So, okay. So back to, right, beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you so much, Philomena. And like I said, not to take any thunder, any um, credit away from Miss Diana who sent this card to me. Thank you so much for your inspiration on this card, Miss Diana Boone. I loved it and thought, oh, we got to make it ourselves, right? So, okay. Quick recap here, and I will stop talking for the day, right? So if you are interested in ordering any of these products, I'm sure, honestly, ladies, if you do not have the beautiful friendship stamp set, you're really going to want this stamp set. It is awesome. Actually, go ahead and get the class to go if you really want this stamp set, because then I'll give you a bunch of ideas, and then you'll have these two also. So, okay. With that being said, though, put your online order in of at least $30. Where's my other card? You are going to get the make and takes or the completed cards, whichever one you want, with at least a $30 order. These cards are right here. And your name is entered into the drawing to win the Regal's 6x6 Designer Series Paper Stack. Bump your order up to $50, and you get to pick either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a package of pearls with your online order of at least $50 in May. Okay. All right. I think we got it all covered. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Sorry, I got a little chatty as usual. Sun is starting to peek out around here too, which I'm very happy about. So, okay. You guys have a great afternoon, a great Friday, a great weekend, and I will see you right back here, right? Because where else are we going to be next Friday at 1130 a.m.? Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me.